Well, hello, everybody. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I uh, might as well say it's like behind the scenes of what I do to put out my content. People have asked, what do I use to make a thumbnail? So I figured we go ahead and make a thumbnail for tomorrow's video. So uh, before we start though, uh, just like any other of my videos, even this one, let's give a shout out to that Delibe tribe. Uh, that is Dizzy Zombie, Teesbird, Team View, Adzur, Dorku, Code As Chick, Cole, and One Manger Gamer underscore YT. Thank you for being a member of my YouTube channel. If you click that join button, it does tell you what you can get for being a member and subscribing to my channel. That's how you become a Delive Tribe member. Uh, but with that being said, and if you like anything that you see on the videos, uh, by all means, give them thumbs up, even like this one, uh, sort of like a tutorial from behind the scenes, uh, as well as live streams you can give likes to. Want to comment down below if there's something that maybe you're wanting to know about a game or like this, by all means, put it in a comment. I read those. I answer them and I appreciate them. So thank you. And if you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos or live streams, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. That makes this channel grow. Our community get bigger. I can't do it without each and every one of you. So for me, I run on a Windows PC, not an Apple. Uh, so... Right now, I just have my Roblox screen right here up. So if I go down to my uh, Windows, you're not going to be able to see it because it's not showing. But if I open that menu, uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can see it down there. So what I use is um, Paint 3D. So you see Paint here, but there's no Paint 3D. So I started typing Paint. There's my Paint 3D app. So that's what I use. So if I open that, has a welcome. I'm just going to open. And then what I am going to do is browse my files. I have actually one for screenshots. That's what I get everything when I'm screenshotting. Uh, tomorrow is actually Farming and Friends. So let's go ahead and see if I can get that transition because I'm not all the way up. Give me just a minute here. Try to get you, we can see this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that I started off, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this now, because you're gonna see this, uh, actually it's real time today on the 2nd of November. Paint 3D won't be available in the Microsoft Store or receive future updates starting November 4th, 2024. So I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I'm gonna keep using it until I can't use it anymore. I really like this program. I don't know why they're doing this because they transitioned to Paint 3D to get rid of paint. And a lot of the computers had this on their computer already. So yeah, you can click to learn more here. Uh, that's gonna take you to Microsoft. Okay, here, it's deprecated. Removed from the Microsoft Store. Existing installations of Paint 3D could continue to work but the app will no longer be available to download. If you remove the app, you can reinstall it from the Microsoft Store and Tool, the fourth. After that, it won't be no longer available for download. Paint 3D was pre-installed on some Windows 10 devices, but it wasn't pre-installed on Windows 11 devices. That's weird because this is a Windows 11 computer and I'm positive. It might not have been, it might've just had the others. But you can view and edit 2D images, paint photos, and 3D, 3D viewer. So to get this uh, for if you're in Windows, you just go here and right there, I got that Microsoft Store. Just click it. And it's going to bring you into the Microsoft Store. 
or you can search it up on Google. And let's start searching paint. Uh, there it is, paint 3D app. So again, if you want this to make your own thumbnails, you've got to like download it today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, I was shocked with it. So you see, I can open it because I've already got the download. I actually should see if I could download it on another computer and just have that download to where I could still have the download. I think it comes from Microsoft, so I don't know if they would give you the actual files. But let's go ahead and get back to making this thumbnail. That's what it's about. But I wanted to let you know, this is what I use, Paint 3D. It's a free app. It doesn't cost anything. I know there's some people that uh, pay like for Adobe and other Canva, things like that, uh, which is all fine. It's whatever you feel most comfortable with. Other ones even know how to make videos on like their uh, handheld devices. So tablets or smartphones, I am a, a computer, a PC runner. So, okay, let's go ahead and just drop these both uh, here. We'll just put that. So that's back. We'll open up that paint back up. Okay. So once I load up my picture that I want to do a thumbnail, first thing I do is I crop the image. That's why you're always seeing me like dropping and closing like uh, notifications or anything like that, uh, where you can see like the other players in the game. So then I just go up here to the crop and these, you just pull them down. So I go below the one area there. So you don't see the buttons. And you got the version down here, so I normally go up a little bit. And since we're more longer, I know that I'm going to have to bring these in. And I'll explain that later why. So I'll do it there. I'll probably put the image here. I'll probably put the title up here. So let's go ahead. And once you're done, you go over to the right here. It shows that crop. Click on it. And then say done. And there you go. We've got our image. We don't have any of the extra stuff. Uh, you can even pull in images and add to it if you want as well. I'll show you some of the other items that I use uh, to make thumbnails as well. But I figured this one would be simple, easy. Very top here, you have text. You can put stickers, shapes. Um, let's go ahead and do text. We'll go over here. They have a flat text or 3D. So we'll do the 3D because a lot of times my titles are 3D. This lower one is your settings. So I want to have this be my show card Gothic is what I normally do. Let's go the biggest. Uh, and then let's change it to hmm, change it to white and see if I can do this. Sometimes you could, you, and I'll show you how you can change it if it doesn't work. So you just click somewhere on the picture. And this is a text that I don't have to capitalize. It's already all capitalized. So egg palette, question mark. So then you just click again away from once you're down or you can hit enter. Actually enter gives you another, uh, another line. So I actually you just have to click off of it. And this is when you're doing, it looks a little bit different when you're doing the 3D. So you take this and pull it down to 90. And then I take the little box, not my um, rotation, but my box and I pull it up. It gives depth to that letter or the words. And then I flip this back and I normally either will go this way or this way. I will just do it this way this time. Uh, then we're going to just take it where it's got the four to move. And then I'm going to grab it down here and make it bigger. Keep it consistent. Mostly. Let's go here. And then now I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to stretch it. Sort of egg pallets. And let's go ahead and even stretch it that way if we want. So you can, you can take this and you can change it to where it has a Z axis. This one does this way, but we're going to keep it regular. So egg pallets, that's my thing. If you wanted to, you could even put like, uh, 
2D shape. Seeing some of mine. And then you just go over here to the right, 2D shapes. Uh, one I use a lot is the arrow. So if you look, there's the arrow. And then if I just click here, we got the arrow. And then you can always just pull it this way. You can turn it if you want. You can go ahead and do your control C and your control V and you can make a copy if you wanted, if you wanted that same. If you wanted to fill it in, you would just go over here to edit and it should be rotate and flip to you select. I thought it was that one. Rotate and flip. Do the shapes. Do I have to do that at the beginning? Hmm. I should be able to do arrow and yeah. And then if you ever mess up, you can always just hit the delete. And like here, I can do delete. So I can do undo and then undo if I want. I'm going to go ahead and figure out because you can actually color them. So I put that there. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. Right there. Or that's a stamp. Nope. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, it was right up the top here. My bad. See, sometimes I... Normally it has it colored. I have another one open. If you look here, there's a second one open. And I open up a new one. I don't know if that's why. Let's go ahead and delete both of these or undo them. So just right-click, undo, click undo. So if I go back to shapes, I choose that one. I pick it right up here. The fill. So I think at times I do a solid fill and then like the red, there you go. And I could just do this. And then we can control C, control V to make that copy. Let's go ahead. See, sometimes I'll put things behind other stuff because that's 3D. So sometimes it works out cool because you can put it like there. We're gonna go ahead and we'll put another one over here. Control V. How about we put it right like that? Because we're gonna put, I think, our logo here. So I'll put egg pallet there. And then let's do one more. All right, there we go. So, you, you know, do it to your own flavor, your own liking and that. I didn't want to take too long on these, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. Uh, I also have, if you go over to menu, you can even insert. So insert, uh, if I go to my thumbnails for different videos, I have game logos that I've done. And go over here to farming and friends. And right there. Now, when I pull that in and insert it, I take it over here and I change it from a 2D to 3D. So why do I do that? Well, now when I move this, it stays consistent. Otherwise, what happens is, let's go back and insert that again. If I grab this, see it, it doesn't stay consistent. And the other thing is, is once I click it, I can't remove it. I can't move it around the screen is what I mean. So if I go again, back to the insert, uh, choose what I want to insert for my picture, change it to a 3D picture. Now I can keep it consistent and I can move it around. So I don't want it here, here, actually, I might put it there. Get a little bit bigger. 
Why not? What, what do you think? There. So used to put it over here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it over here. We'll be a little bit different. Farming and friends. So there you go. Once you're done making what you want for it, you're going to go ahead and do menu. You're going to do save as. You want an image for this one because you're doing a thumbnail. The thing that you're going to do is you're un going to unclick your aspect ratio. Thumbnails are 1280. And then I just hit tab by 720. See how it's all wonky? So 720, tab it again. There's your tab. That's why I try to keep that same kind of transition. Otherwise, it will stretch it a little bit to get that 1280 by 720. Then I lock it. Uh, we're going to save it. And then since we're already saved in thumbnails, I'm going to go ahead and find another farming and friends so I don't have to. There's we are. We have bees. I click it once. We don't want to do twice. And then I'm going to change the date here. So. This is going to be the third for that video, not today's. And then this one's going to be egg pallets. So that's how I do it. This is my like naming convention things that I do uh, for my videos for the channel. Uh, it's however, whatever you want to do. But this is the program that I run. And all you have to do is click save. And then right there, there it is. If I went back to that, uh, you would see that that's what it is. But that's that's all there is to it. So I'm going to let you go now. Remember, get out there. Do those things that you enjoy. Make you feel good inside and put a smile on your face. Because all of you here put a smile on mine. And remember, you, you're amazing. All of you. And tomorrow's video, egg pallets. Stay tuned and watch it. We'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye now.